are there mateys how you doing i also love when i think of the beach pirates i like buried treasure and adventures and today i'm going to read you a story called how i became a pirate but i also want to show you my pirate i made a pirate i used something online to show me how to make this pirate it's from a website called i heart crafty things and I've sent you the link for that, but I've also sent you a template so that you can cut out a hat and this bandana and some eyes and make the pirate any way you want to. Now, the website shows you making the pirate out of a white paper bag. I didn't have a white paper bag and I also didn't have any flesh colored paint at, at home. I have them at school, but I thought, why not just make him a little bit tan and I'll use a brown bag instead of a white bag. So I used that for the pirate's face. And then I just cut a big piece of white paper and glued it onto the front. And then cut some stripes. You could cut stripes out of construction paper and glue them on, or you could color them on, or you could make any kind of shirt you want for your pirate. And then draw a face. I've sent you a template with some eyes if you wanna use them, and the bandana and the hat and the skull and crossbones. And then the website showed a little ring that you could put through there if you happen to have one of those little binder rings. But if not, I used a twist tie from a piece of bread, from a bread um, loaf that you can just add right on there and make a little earring if you want to for your pirate. Okay, so hopefully you'll have fun with that. Easy and um, very cute. And of course you can stick your hand in there. Our mateys. And have fun with your pirate. If you make a pirate, please send it to me. So now my parrot and I will start our story. Again, How I Became a Pirate by David Shannon and Melinda Long. Let's see what happens. Hmm, there's a boy getting ready to play like he's a pirate, right? Ah, here we go. I see a pirate ship, don't you? And a boy making a sand castle at the beach. Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day, when I was at the beach building a sand castle and minding my own business, a pirate ship sailed into view. I knew what it was because its flag had a skull and crossbones on it and because I could hear the pirates singing, hey ho, blow the man down. They were singing a little off key. Sort of like Teacher Kim, I sing off key also. Hmm. I tried to tell dad, but he was busy setting up the beach umbrella. I tried to tell mom, but she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sandcastle, but I kept an eye on the pirates. By then they were rowing to shore. Oh my goodness, can you see that? There's a little boat right there and the pirates are coming in. Oh, pirates here. Look, he's got a parrot, just like mine, wow. Hmm. When they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Ahoy there, matey. Be this the Spanish main? No, I said. This is North Beach. Shiver me timbers, the pirate said. We must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. Hmm. Wow, look at the pirates. You see them? Goodness gracious. And the par parrot too. He walked around my sandcastle. He looked at the moat, then yelled back to his crew. He's a digger, he is, and a good one to boot. A good one to boot, the others agreed. What be your name, matey? The head pirate asked. Jeremy Jacobs, sir, I told him. Hmm. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braid Beard and his crew. We've been needing a digger like yourself. We have a chest of treasure to bury. Aye, treasure, the others shouted. You're coming with us, Braid Beard told me. I didn't think Mom and Dad would mind, as long as I got back in time for soccer practice the next day. Hmm, so there's the soccer ball. Apparently this boy plays soccer, Jeremy Jacob. Do you think it would be okay with your parents if you went somewhere with pirates for a day and came back the next day in time for soccer? Hmm. Maybe not. That's how I became a pirate. Look at him there. Is he having fun with all the pirates? He's heading off to the ship. They're rowing back. 
As soon as we were on board, Braidbeard showed me a chest of gold and jewels. Wow, look at that. Treasure, look at that. Goodness gracious. Go find a safe place for this here treasure. It's time we're off, he announced. We're off, we all shouted. And then we set sail. It was plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing sea shanties, the louder the better, and to say real pirate stuff like landlubber and scurvy dog. By dinner time, I could speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. Braidbeard pounded his fist on the table and yelled, down the hatch, me laddies, down the hatch, we all shouted. Braidbeard gulped his food and said, hand over the meat. The meat, we all roared. Nobody told us to finish our spinach, there wasn't any, or to chew up our carrots, they weren't allowed on board. We talked with our mouths full and nobody said please or thank you. Hmm, sounds like these pirates don't have any manners at all. Goodness, oh my goodness, look. After dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Braid Beard kicked the ball and yelled, Arg soccer! Arg soccer, the crew yelled. Then everybody dove for the ball at once and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me hearties, Braidbeard commanded. After it, we all whispered. We fought over who would go get the ball, but it didn't matter anyway because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. So much for soccer. By now it was past my bedtime, but nobody tells pirates to go to bed, to take a bath, or to brush their teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. Pirates sleep with one eye open, just in case, and they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. Pirates don't do anything they don't want to, except for maybe swabbing the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. So far, he's having a lot of fun. Hmm. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Braidbeard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew cried. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books, I asked. Braid Beard looked confused. Books? I didn't even bother to ask about a good night kiss. Hmm, there's Jeremy trying to go to sleep. It looks a little uncomfortable. Oh goodness, something's happening now. It wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story but I was finally dozing off when a storm broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I tried to hide under the covers as waves slammed up against the ship, but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Lower the sails, Braidbeard shouted, batten down the hatches. Look at him, there he is. Everybody ran around yelling and lowering and battening. Nobody had time to sit close and tell me it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Something scary is happening here and no one's helping Jeremy Jacob. Hmm. Just then, flash, crash, crack. Lightning hit the mast and split it right down the middle. That's that big tall pole in the middle of the boat and you need it to hold up the sails and it's broken now. What do we do now, yelled one of the pirates. We'll have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered, bra hollered bra Braid Beard. Where will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help, I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. Hmm. Oh, goodness, here comes the treasure. When the storm was over, we rode back to shore and buried the chest. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again, but I don't think I'll need it. Here he is. Here's the treasure and here's the map. And it says it's in Jeremy Jacobs' backyard. You go up this way near the basketball hoop behind the house to the tree and there's X marks the spot. That's where they're gonna bury the treasure. After that, the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail. Before they left, Braidbeard handed me a flag and said, You make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crowd repeated. And if you ever need us, Braidbeard added, just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. 
up yonder pole, the others shouted, and maybe I will, but not today. So there's the flag. He can put it on a flagpole if he wants to. Today, I have soccer practice. And look, his team name on his jersey is Pirates. So he plays for the team called the Pirates. What a fun adventure he had. Being a pirate wasn't as much fun as he thought it was going to be, but I think he got home safely, which was great, and time for soccer practice. If you make a paper bag pirate, please send it to me. I'd love to see it. It was fun sharing this story with you. Happy beach.